Hi, welcome to Everyday Cooking with Ann. I'm Connor, Ann's grandson. Today, we're gonna to be making one of my favorite recipes that my grandma's taught me, raspberry sour cream ice cream. To make this recipe, we're gonna need two cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of sugar, six ounces of milk, evaporated milk, milk, whatever milk works, two and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, one half of a cup of sour cream, and 12 ounces of frozen raspberry, along with three eggs. So to start off this recipe, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to beat three eggs. This can either be done by hand or what I find much easier, this KitchenAid. So we just add these three eggs and we're gonna beat them until they are creamy. All right, so once we've got the eggs to about this consistency right here, we're gonna be moving into the second step. Now we're gonna put the KitchenAid on a low, or if you're doing it by hand, just slowly whisk while gradually adding the sugar to the mix. This recipe is one of my favorites and is one of the easiest to make. You just add everything to the bowl, no other steps required. That right there is probably the hardest part that we're gonna come across in this whole process. This recipe is absolutely great for impressing your friends. I make this all the time. I'll bring my dates over and they just love it and it's the easiest thing ever to make and it's impressive and it's just absolutely delicious is the killer. So now we're gonna let that mix for a little bit. And while we're doing that, we're gonna have to do something else to these frozen raspberries. In order to get them so that they are not uh, full and icy in our ice cream, we're gonna beat them down with a mallet until they've uh, formed down more or less into all their individual pellets. So feel free to stop your egg and sugar mix when it gets to about this consistency, really nice and frothy. And while we're continuing on the rest of this recipe, we're gonna have, we're gonna continue to beat these raspberries. All right. So at this point, we just add all the other ingredients. We're gonna add the two cups of heavy whipping cream. Try to get as much of that into the mix as possible. Next, we're gonna be adding the one half a cup of sour cream, just half a cup. After that, we're gonna be adding the six ounces of milk. And then we'll be adding the two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Feel free to use the half teaspoon measurement if you want, but I find it easiest to just pour in about half of a teaspoon right there. All right, so now we're gonna let that mix just a little bit more until it's a nice even consistency. Make sure it's on low, if you put it on high, it'll be uh, too light and too thin for it to hold and it'll just spin all around the room. Okay. All right, so we're gonna mash up our raspberries in the bag. That's usually the easiest place to do it. If you get a bigger bag, it's fine to just put it in a Ziploc bag and mash it with a mallet as you saw earlier. We want it looking about this consistency right here. All right. So now we're just gonna be, it's just super easy. We're just gonna add this all right straight into the mix. The more raspberries you have, the more flavor you have. Also, you might have noted an early ingredient, the sour cream. You might not have expected an ice cream, but it's absolutely key to getting it to the right, perfect consistency. Where it's just, once it comes out, it's just super smooth and light. It doesn't get those icy crystals that you just hate in ice cream that just ruin it. All right, so now we're just gonna let that mix for a little bit and we'll bump it up to higher speed. It should be getting a nice, rich pink color. You're not gonna see a lot of the strawberry bits that have sunk to the bottom, but you will see them once the ice cream is. All right. So now that we've got it nice and evenly mixed, 
we're almost, we're done with all the ingredients. We're not gonna be adding anything else to this mix. All that's left is to actually turn it into ice cream. So in order to make ice cream uh, homemade really good, you're gonna need something similar to this. Right here we have a Cuisinart ice cream maker. Uh, our particular model has a bowl that you keep in the freezer until you wanna take it out and make ice cream. And you just put the ice cream directly in there. Each ice cream maker is a little bit different, so you can shop around online and find one that's right for you. This particular recipe makes one half a gallon of raspberry sour cream ice cream. So if you have, uh, if you have an ice cream maker that only makes a pint, you're gonna have to do um, two, maybe four steps. If you have one that only makes a quart, you're gonna have to make a few trips with it. But ours will do it all in one batch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it, but don't be sure to get a spatula and just get that all, a rubber spatula, and just make sure you get all of that in there. So you get as much as you can out of the recipe. There we go. All right, so with this ice cream maker, it's super easy to turn on. You just put in the uh, mixing blade right there, right on top, and turn it on. So at this point, we're just gonna leave the ice cream in the ice cream maker. We'll come back in about 20 to 30 minutes and uh, we'll show you what consistency it should look like once it's fully done and ready to be uh, put in the freezer. All right, and we're back. It's been about 20 to 30 minutes, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna check up on this ice cream over here. So we're just gonna flip this right off. And if you look at this ice cream, this is the consistency it should be right here. You see how it's not thin? It was really thin when we put it in, right? But now it's got a nice thick texture to it, really creamy. As you can see, when I push it up, it just it has a little hold right there. That's about what we want. So in order to do this, it's gonna be a few steps, just like getting cookie batter onto, the, onto a sheet, but with a few extra steps. So we're just gonna take this out. We're gonna push as much as we can into this bowl. Any half gallon Tupperware container will work. Um, if you're only making a quart, and use a quart Tupperware to container, whatever you like. You can also just put this in a mixing bowl if you don't have any Tupperware containers and put a little bit of tin foil or saran wrap on top to keep it fresh. But we're just gonna try and get as much as we can off of this, uh, using this spatula, try to get as much as we can off of this mixing fork. All right, keep things clean. We'll just put that on the lid. Now, this part's easy enough. You just kind of get it out of the bowl. Be careful to get it all in there. It makes a lot of ice cream. Half a gallon doesn't look like a lot when you make it, but when you're putting it out, It'll make a lot. This can be really hard on a cold bowl as the ice cream likes to stick to the sides. I find it's best just to move in a circular motion and just scrape it on the side right there. All right, so now it's really important. <laughs> it's really important that we get it washed right away. It'll stick to the sides. So just get it in some hot water really quick and just, you really only need to rub it down with a little bit of soapy water. All right, so all we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this ice cream we put into a cup or a container, put a lid on it, and then just pop that straight into the freezer. Now we're gonna let that cool for about 45 minutes to one and a half hours depending on what temperature your freezer's at. Thank you for watching my videos. As your personal cooking coach, I'm here to guide you along the way and give you tips to make the recipe successful. Please post a comment below with any questions, suggestion, or requests for new items you would like me to teach. And let me know how the recipe works out for you. Thank you.